it was it was time for me to recording a new episode even if I did it for it yesterday I think it was and uh, because I want to give talk about something that's going on just now and it uh, it's about uh, this with uh, Russia in, in inside uh, Ukraine and uh, I, I feel uh, I feel sorry of course for uh, Ukraine people in Ukraine uh, the country and uh, but it's about your mindset it uh, for me is it too much uh, now going on about Ukraine uh, and it's uh, like I can hear hear the laugh from the devil of that people is like uh, like the uh, he use uh, the media to uh, report this and they should report but uh, that is about people that they uh, everyone is uh, now uh, uh, upload videos report news about what's going on and we know what's going on and uh, we uh, we can, if we want, we can uh, switch on the news on television or radio or uh, look at it on the internet. But we don't need all this other that uh, from the social media that people uh, upload the videos report about it and it it be full in our brain about it when there is much other things that going on around this world and it's um, yesterday I, I was looking at about this virus now they they talking only about the 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 war that is on its ways to happen just now uh, in in late February is uh, to twenty twenty two is it uh, some attacks but it's not uh, clearly war yet um, but it it will come and. Uh, like I, I say in my last episode, there is tribulation and, and it will come more than this. And uh, we have to be prepared if, in our mindset. So th- this is this now is it time for you to exercise this to train you to to on your mindset to not stay focus on what's going on in Ukraine because you can't do anything about it so uh, there is so much going on around you also but that is like on hold because what happened now and you should not let it be in that way your life have to to work going on like it always do and uh, I, I have put that in my head I know there is uh, terrible things that happen in Ukraine just now but there is many other places 
here on earth that is very bad also and um, this is a war that in Ukraine is about greed from from the Putin uh, and it's also about money because uh, that make us not get uh, gas and all products that we need to have in in our other countries so it's it's uh, not about the people some people think like that but for the those that have the power in the countries for them is it about money it's not about people and uh, for the the devil is it uh, he like that that uh, he it's uh, a chaos going on and uh, so we don't let him have that victory to confuse our brain confuse our mindset we need to be stronger than that we can't go with the flow of what's going on in the world because we have more important things to do than to to look at wars in this world we we don't need to to set our focus on on what the world are doing because we are set apart we that know who we are but it's, uh, I know it's so easy to run with the flow what your the people around you are doing and not focus on what you are doing what is your call from God it's a is it maybe it is I don't know maybe it is a call from God for you to post all kind of things about what's going on in the world of evil things but uh, but for me uh, uh, walking in God's plan for my life and for the the world is to stay focused on God and not uh, let it disturb my plan and make me be go angry God God doesn't want us to to live angry we God wants us to live a relaxing life with much love. Uh, so that's of the devil. So we don't need to focus on what the devil is doing. We are focus on what God is doing and want us to do. It's a uh, very important, uh, and I. I feel like I have to take care of you that is my followers here on the podcast that you don't go in the trap the devil's trap to be angry because we are in the tribulation and it's said that you're gonna be uh, rumors of war is gonna be fast moving evil things but as long as it is not involved in our life and in what the plan God have for us to do then is it let it be those other things I say to you I, I know it's evil things going on and I um, 
uh, I watch the news in the morning on my television and then I uh, sometimes I uh, I uh, uh, turn on the television and, and and watch the news in the evening I have a news report from all over the world so it's not only in Sweden news uh, once a day I check out the uh, Euro news European news and it's uh, cover the whole world so it's not that I stay away but these things should not be so important in my life I it, even if there is a storm going on around me I am not involved in that storm I have my things to do for God and not only only survive the storm and and not f fly with it it's only to do action even in a storm and do what you're supposed to do um, I have I have lived with with a man that was so angry the whole time he was red in his face of anger um, because he uh, he have the telephone the the radio on the whole time and watch television and it was only to switch off that button of on television or radio and I also was together with a man that have a telephone uh, answer machine for the telephone and he his uh, ex-wife was calling him many times a day and, and screaming in the answer machine and every time he come home from his job he turn on the answer machine and listen and he don't need to listen he knew that's what's her screaming and why should he even turn it on he, he could tur turn it on and then hearing her voice is only to go to the next call up but he let it go and uh, make food uh, hearing this screaming from her it's a, it's a, a choice. It's a choice if you want to hear it, or if you want to. It's wrong to not hear it at all. We we need to know what's going on in the world, but not be involved in it. And you are involved in it if you go angry, and some. Many people they go angry at their family members only because what happened out in the world, far away from them, and they can be angry and even put up a fight because of what's happened far away and and things they can't do anything about more than talking to God about the situation and ask him to to help these people but uh, in, we can seldom do anything what's going on in the world uh, far away from us so why should we put the energy on those those things that have nothing with with God to do it's uh, the crazy people 
it's those um, leaders they they attract they pull people that is crazy and people that is um, it's um, evil people that uh, saddest people that saddest uh, mindset in in them and they be often leaders for these people and I'm sure that they know it that these people are so evil so they are good in in the destroy other people's life and so it is some well, some with the devil to do these things so why should we go into his area wanted to to get him the victory to get us there when we go angry our goal is to hold the peace that's what we are born for to be hold the peace and uh, this this man that was going very angry and read his face every day and I thought oh, he get a heart attack soon and he be even more angry when I said, told him uh, why are why are you going so angry? You can't do anything about it. And he go more angry at me, and he threw things on me, and that you don't understand anything. But uh, it wasn't. Uh, it's only that I wanted to hold peace because I know it was not good for my body. I didn't know God in that time, but I knew it was not good for my body to go angry like like he did. And uh, and then when he go very angry for a long time, then suddenly he go down in depression. That was the side effect of going to be so angry and uh, he was laying a whole summer in depression laying on the sofa and he he had he was not working he was off work in the summer and he was laying in and look in the ceiling laying in the bed the whole summer depressed and uh, I it it was like a mental chain of it because then I I started to be frightened I'd be frightened that he one day when we when he, he drive the car when we go shopping and I was thinking, in his depression, he can only turn into uh, drive to, uh, and crash into a track and kill us. And uh, it uh, going so bad in the in this depression he had, so it, it affected me also. So it's be like that. If one person is depressed in the family, it's most likely that those other are affected of it. And so that happened for me that I couldn't anymore go with the bus. I couldn't couldn't sit on the bus. It was sometimes i have to stop the bus and go uh, go out from the bus 
and uh, throw up and uh, puke in uh, and then uh, wait for the next bus to take so I could uh, come to my job uh, so it it was very hard on all us, of us in the family and then uh, uh, should uh, did he gave me and my daughter, we got a flight ticket to United States. Uh, and of course I wanted to go to United States. And um, my mother, my mother's uh, best friend, her, her daughter, she was married in Philadelphia in United States. And she said to me that come and visit me and you can stay in my ho home she said so I but what could I do I was thinking I can't uh, in that time I, I was drinking alcohol and I was thinking I can't take those medicine I have for for uh, this angst uh, when I take the flight because I want to drink those uh, free drinks. That's how I was thinking in that time before I met God. And so I I have to stop to take this medicine I had and uh, take the flight and I was scared about to fly also before God come. I, I was frightened to take the flight and today I am not at all. I enjoy to go with an airplane. But in that time I was frightened. Uh, but I was calm and I could drink. So I calmed me down in, with drinking. Um, and after that, I come back from from United States. I didn't take the medicine anymore. I was healed from from the medicine, from to taking the medicine, and uh, I was more accept that it could happen, but uh, let it be like that. I, I gave up, like a mental gave up, so I could take the bus again. And uh, uh, the man, he get medicine for his depression and he start to work, so then I called down again. So I was okay. Um, but it it is this... Uh, uh, that the uh, mindset of uh, I don't know because I have never think in that way that I should help the whole world even now when I'm I have God in me I know that I can't save the whole world there will be lost. It's like, it's like a, a war, that you know that, as a commander, that not everyone is coming back from war. There is some, some that. It's not. It's the wrong word to say. That have to, be killed, that. But it, it, it's what it is in, in the war. That some people don't make it home. And, uh, and, and so I, I don't expect it when I'm uh, working under God that everyone, I know it. It's only few, some few people I can say. And so I have never thinking like 
I am going to save the whole world. But I, and I don't know if those people that is so angry about everything that's going around, they, they uh, is on every subject that is the media is in interested of things that on the right about it for for a short time. Uh, because they need to do their job. They need to write something in the newspaper. They have to have some topics, subjects to, to talk about on television. That's their job to do. And, but, so it's not for us that belong to God to go with that media talking. We have to focus on hold our peace. That's if you don't have the peace in, in your mind, in yourself, it, it is almost impossible to hear God. You can't have a relationship with God if you are, are in negative mindset, if you are depressed, if you are angry, if you are nervous, if you have fear. You, you can't have that quality of relationship with God. I tell you that it's, it's so very important that many people have asked me how can I come to hear from God? How, how do I hear from God? How can I be close to God as you are, they are asking me. But it started with to hold your peace, to have a peace and relaxing body and mind. That's why the devil is doing these things and make the media write about it and as soon as I, I uh, turn on uh, the television, is it about Ukraine and the, what's going on there? And, um, and it's uh, be so disturbing, so it's hard to hold the peace. So the, that's, I have learned from, from uh, be uh, like, uh, my father died of alcoholic. Uh, he he drink the whole time, and I have that in me. It's in my DNA that I I ha I could. I was very close to be alcoholic like my father, and uh, with uh, this drinking problem or. If you have drug problems and you are sober from it, you have left it. But still you have this inside you. You are addicted to other things. If you don't drink or do drugs, you are. there is something or some things that you are addicted to. For me, uh, was it very uh, obvious? I I knew it very clearly when I I play games uh, with money. Uh, I I could uh, even if I win some money, but I. I 
I continue to to gamble until there is, was no money left. All money was gone. So it doesn't matter how much I played. All the money that I win was gone after a while. So today I never start anything that have with money to do in gamble things. I can uh, buy a lottery because I think uh, that God need to to have some tools to if he want me to have some money then I need to give him a tool but uh, as you have have uh, listen on my podcast is it not about money if God want me to do something for him to travel away to another country and then he give me money in another way than to give me on a lottery ticket I have since I met God I have never uh, win uh, any big money I did it before when I play very much but then I I I gamble it up again uh, and today I, I if I buy a lottery I often get the money back the same money I, I pay for the lottery I get the, the, that money back and um, never any big money so I know that that I can't it seems like I can't win any money on the lottery it's other way to win that maybe not have with money to do but I I win in that I have survived many times where I could have been killed so it's another form that instead of money I get other things in life like you get a surgery that you shouldn't have for example if you were not a, a, a child of God you get this kind of things instead and uh, uh, walking over the street uh, uh, suddenly it come a car and, and it never never took you it never took your life and this kind of things uh, we receive instead of money and um, I, I was, you know, I was homeless and I didn't have any money at all. I, I didn't have a car. And I didn't have anything. But I survived. It worked without man, money. I got uh, what I, I needed to get. I, In three and a half years, I always had a bed every night I had, had I was I, I was not forced to lay outside like those other uh, many of these homeless people I met uh, and talked to they were laying in the park they were la- laying under cars they were laying in in a stair house uh, like this but I have always a bed I have warm warm uh, bed it was only one time in three and a half year I didn't have a real bed I was laying on on the floor but it was a floor with a carpet on uh, so it was warm uh, and it was only one night 
in three and a half years. So you can do much more than you think. I hear so much and read much about even those that is church leader. Suddenly when when they had this with the pandemic and with the virus, people didn't come to the church. And they'd be scared because they lost the money for themselves. The church can be on hold. It was not about that. Because God knows the situation. So he can... It's okay to to close the church for for a time and open after it's uh, okay again when we don't have this virus it was not about that it was that they didn't have the money and their lifestyle that those preachers had when they had the church was full of people and when there come no people, then they couldn't have their their lifestyle. The greedy preachers went out and and wanted people to come into the church, even if it was in the worst time. To do it in this uh, epidemic things and. Uh, it was only their greeds and uh, and love of money, because if they were real um, people under God, they knew that they should store up some money for for if bad times is coming. And they never heard from God that uh, that they should store up money. They were spending the money as much, like uh, even if it was screaming everywhere, the the pandemic is coming, is coming, and you need to stay at home. They still were. In the restaurants in the evening and eat eat uh, expensive food and did the same thing and they didn't store up and it's like uh, those those uh, virgins with a lamp you know the oil, oil ran out and it was the same with those leaders for churches of course they they had rent for for the building but that they should have stored up if something happened i can we save the money for to could pay the rent at least a half year or more they they don't prepare themselves and that's you know in this uh, podcast, those that are coming, those spirits that is coming, they tell us, tell us to prepare the mindset, prepare us in uh, to have food to eat and money on the bank if we have things that we need to pay. Uh, for me, I am retired, so I get the money um, to the rent, at least, uh, and a little more money I get to for my food. So I don't need to think about that in 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 that way, but. There is many countries where people don't have any life uh, line, uh, a net of 
of a social net like we have here in Sweden. I know that. Uh, so that is it's more important to store up money for for the, that they can pay the rent and not take it. Don't don't loan the money on on yourself. Let it stay there on the bank for for bad times when it's coming. And uh, so that uh, that is very important, and that's why those spirits that visit here that they the whole time is talking about these things you after now uh, i think it was 187 episode i have done so now we uh, we can see a, like a pattern what uh, the basic things what the spirit are talking about uh, what they want us to to know it it is to to store up a mindset to to grow your mindset so you can hold your peace uh, not let the world come into your mindset it What's going on in the in the world is something that is temporary. It's not something that you should store in your brain. It's temporary. I know it's working. If you if you start to exercise this, I tell you, I for me it has start to work. I didn't think it should work but it does that I hear things from the world and it it go away from me I didn't bring, take it in so deep into my brain but uh, other things that is important for me to to remember that I store and it works. Uh, it's training, exercise, your your brain to to have these two different uh, stores, storehouse. One for very important things that have with God to do, and the other is temporary things from the world that you don't need to store that is only for today to to see or hear and then it can go out with the, in the in your private trash can <laughs> so uh, it sounds easy but it is not hard to do it um, it's uh, to say to yourself, if you see something you go angry at, and then you say to yourself, what does it matter in hundred years from now? I'm not here. <laughs> so why does it, does it, I care? Uh, is it something that is important in my walk? under God or is it only something disturbing only from the devil uh, like this question to ask and, and know how what to sort out or what to keep by ask you this what is this something I need to have in my life uh, it's like this um, to to store things if you don't use it in in one year then you don't need it 
and uh, I tell you that easily, but it's not easy because uh, I have seen it many times that if I threw it away after one year and I have not used it, then of course I I need to use it next day and it's gone. <laughs> so it's not easy. It's not easy, but in the brain you can do it. Um, and if you if you think that is something between uh, waste things or or keep, then you write it up on on a note a pad to. Uh, you write it up some, somewhere in a book. It's very good to have an empty book and then you write in these things that is between good to have, you know. <laughs> I laugh because I am very, I have no organization uh, mind. <laughs> I'm very bad. To, to know what to do with things, but it, but I I know it in practical, but not doing it. But it's very good to have this book. You write up your thinking, and do you write up things you hear and see? So you remember it, but you don't keep it in your brain. I have tried to do it many times, to have a book with me and then I write up what I'm thinking and, and what I see and, and this it's kind of book. But I'm so very bad, but it's very good to, to do it. So you you don't need to keep everything in your mind, and of course, uh, write it down that there is on its way to be war in Ukraine. You can put it on the paper, so you know it when you you write up your the date when you hear it. Uh, but you don't need to have carry it with you in your mind you can write it down that praying for Ukraine and the date and then you know it when you see this paper that you maybe do it you maybe are very good that not like I am uh, that you write uh, in a, a book uh, what you are going to pray for and you pray f for Ukraine but you don't need to carry it with you the whole day long for for maybe weeks I hope not I hope they can solve this very bad thing. You think that is a civilization that people are smart enough to not do these things, but it's greed. The the worst the worst sin in this world is greed because that give the start of everything <coughs> that is negative that you want the money if you see something your neighbor have that that you like you also want it and um, and um, Putin, he want to have a bigger Russia, even if he don't could handle his own what he have now. 
it's uh, he have to handle people with terror on his own people but it's the tribulation uh, people going against their own people Pe because uh, Ukraine is uh, some sort of Russia it's a uh, they should be uh, uh, friends, really friends, not uh, be own of each other, but be friends because they are of the same people. And uh, but uh, the, it's uh, is this greed and see himself as a ruler of the world if he want if he could do it he should take the whole world and it's same with all of this highest top people that sit uh, yeah. they want to have the whole planet but they can't even take care of that small part they have of of this planet so why why do they try to own more and more land and and its people there but it's for us that that don't, don't have the greed in us it's hard to know other people how they thinking and it's it very much of it is coming from the childhood and how they have lived as a child that's it the foundation in every person what what you hear and see as a child and many adult people don't think that that uh, the children see it and hear it and understand what they are talking about and maybe the the children doesn't understand and misinterpret they they don't understand and take it wrong in what they see adult people do so that it's a aging it's a it's a, it's a, I have talking to you soon in one hour <laughs> I thought that I should not speak more than 10 minutes so that oh The, you know that it's coming some someone in here it's like a military he looked like a military he have these clothes uh, green brown clothes on him and he have some hat under his arm holding it and I don't know what he want to say. We <laughs> will say what he's wanting to say. Uh, he he's standing like he honor me like that, uh, like I am his commander. Mm -hmm. He have a, a message. He say, so it's not from him. It's from someone else that is higher up than him and uh, it seems like he he have another hat showing and I think it's uh, it's something that have with France to do it can be a Canada because there they speak 
French also. But he's either France or Canada. He's showing. And uh, and he's showing that this like a chain of men uh, is many military standing around something protecting protecting uh, and uh, I assume that is Ukraine crying and uh, I see uh, inside this ring the man is is around the ring and inside the ring is burning it's so much fire going on and they are standing there and say and they are saying that this um, uh, it's only one part they hold back so it doesn't spread it's um, it is uh, only a small part that gonna be very very much fire in and uh, those uh, military they they hold back so it should not spread that's what they're showing me and it's oh now they start to to walk over this burning burning field they they take away the the fire of it they step on it so it, the the fire burns out it's no fire anymore so that's what they are going to do and uh, <laughs> I was thinking I should say uh, I hope there is not many life that go waste but they say it's going to be many people that is going to ki be killed but it had to be in that way we are in the tribulation so it's in this time of tribulation it will never go smooth no not nothing will go smooth it's gonna be this this way for a long time for some years now that it's it's rough it's going rough that many things that you think is going to be easy gonna be hard and those things that that you think is going to be hard it's gonna be easy and that's what it's gonna be because it's gonna be like confusing what do you what do uh, what do you think and and assume and uh, think it should be it will never be it I would say it's very seldom it be like you think it's going the opposite or else it never come through uh, this is the time of confusion this is the time of tribulation that's uh, what he's saying to to us here that nothing is going to be firm it's not stable it's gonna be this uh, tribulation time the confusing what you thought was good is in fact evil and things that, that you thought was evil was in fact good 
because it's going to confuse our brain. And it's already started with so many people have been sick now in in coronavirus and uh, it's hit. If it's hit the lungs, it hit also the brain because you have to could breathe for the brain to function. And when it's very hard to breathe with your lungs, it's also going to kill many cells in the brain. So it's already done a, a big part of this to confuse the brain. And then we have this VR uh, we are um, virtual reality things that confusing the brain also. We have many things that confusing the brain just now. And uh, we, we that work under God, we can't go with the flow. We have to stay away from this virtual reality. Not, not give that to your children. Not at all. It's really forbidden. And then we have this coronavirus. And people run out. In in that time when it was very high. Uh, and very bad. Corona. They, they run out. Because they didn't listen to God. They only wanted to go shopping. And then they got this virus that took their brain it's not uh, about uh, if you can't taste and smell things it's not uh, inside your nose it's inside your brain that's its damage that's why you can't the brain can't recognize the smell of of what's going on and the taste of the food it, it doesn't recognize it you have learned that it's how food is what food should taste like but the brain have forgotten it so you don't remember it that's what it is a damage of the, the brain in many things so so I hope he's here I was on my way to end it, it the episode now but he he take now he have a sword taking out the sword and he say he's gonna protect you that this that is trying to to seek God's face to to the you that understand to seek the real God that the spirit of God you want to have the relationship with him and he's he's now standing and with a sword and say he should he's going to protect you that's why he have not left yet so i thank you for coming and talk to us about what's going on just now in this time of tribulation so hold out hold your peace be careful what you bring into your brain stay away from the flow of the world that's a that's a devil's way to do it that people run with whatever they hear and see without stop and think what have I with these things to do 
what can I do for for it to to stop these things? The only thing you can do is to pray, and that's easy. That's not hard for the brain that you pray for all the situation in the world. But you should also know that we live in a tribulation, so it should be much of these things. It's it's uh, it's not from God, but it's uh, not stopped from God that's a different he don't do it God but he don't stop it either because it have to be this it's coming in the future that you understand it so I thank you for listening to this episode and take care of you and God loves you and I love you too Thank you for listening.